Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, I'm delighted to have a few minutes to talk to you about uh, all the exciting news that's coming up from London Southland Airport for 2024 and beyond. Before I do that, though, let's have a look back at 2023 and the great progress we've made along our pathway to recovery. Uh, in 2022, we were around about 100,000 passengers flying to three destinations. Throughout 2023, we've increased our destinations to 10, and we're going to at least double our number of passengers in the year and then looking ahead to next year we're going to have many many more passengers flying with us from London South End. As you can see behind me we've got passengers uh, flying off to our winter destinations we're at Geneva, Grenoble, Alicante and Paris and I know from talking to a number of our passengers this morning just how happy they are to be flying from London South End again over winter. Looking ahead to the summer I'm delighted to say that we're flying to all of our favourite destinations we're back to Palma, we're back to Malaga, we're back to Alicante. And the great news about Mallorca is we're up to eight services per week and hoping for even more as we go forward in the year. In other exciting news for us here at London South End, we're delighted to announce our new partnership with Aero Italia. Aero Italia, which is Italy's second largest airline, will be our exclusive partner flying to start with from Milan into London multiple times per week. We're continuing in our conversations with more airlines and prospective partners to fly many, many more hundreds of thousands of passengers around Europe. In other breaking news for this summer, we are partnering for the first time to fly to Bulgaria with our partners Balkan Holidays. Standing here at the terminal this morning, I'm reminded just how close I am to our fabulous railway station. The railway station that takes you in London 100 steps from the platform into departures. And that station, of course, is connected into the, one of the world's most famous cities, London. 50 minutes on the train into Liverpool Street and only 40 minutes into Stratford and a quick hop across the platform onto the Elizabeth Line and you could be in central London in, in less than an hour. We're very proud of the facilities we have to offer here at London South End. We've got some great value parking. We've got a railway station with great fares to and from London. We've got our hotel. It's a wonderful four-star holiday inn. So for those of you who want to travel with even more luxury, feel free to book yourself in the night before you fly uh, and enjoy some great food up on the fifth floor overlooking the runway. So at the airport, we don't just have EasyJet and other airlines flying with us. We have our own private jet unit, London South End Private Jet Centre. And I'm delighted to say in 2023, they were recognised as being the best private jet centre in the UK. And of course, it'd be remiss of me not to mention our great people. Our people across our various teams really make the difference to this airport. Without our people, we wouldn't have the great airport experience that we offer day in, day out to our passengers. Uh, I can't mention all of the great teams we have today because I'll be on the video for hours and hours. But ultimately, we have a passionate, committed workforce down here in London South End who spend each and every day trying to make your experience when you fly with us as positive and as enjoyable as possible. And that's why for much of the 2010s, we were the best passenger experience airport in the country. And so as I close, I want to wish all of you watching this video the very best for 2024. And I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible coming to fly with us here at London South End.